If you were named as a beneficiary on a loved one's life insurance policy, you might expect to be notified. But it turns out that for years, a lot of companies never bothered. CBS 2's Henry Fujii shows us the state is trying to pay out millions of dollars. Thousands of people in California are owed money and may not even know it. After dozens of audits and lawsuits, the state controller's office found some life insurance companies, including these listed on their website, were not notifying beneficiaries they were the recipients of life insurance policies. Harvey Rosenfield from Consumer Watchdog says the companies instead pocketed the money. The insurance companies would dip into the life insurance proceeds of people who had died and pay premiums on behalf of dead people until there was no money left. California and 40 other states reached a resolution with 25 insurance companies to pay out about $2.4 billion to families across the country, including $307 million to people in California. This is the controller's list of money that's gone unclaimed in the L.A. area, amounts ranging from several thousand to hundreds of thousands of dollars. I talked to several people in the L.A. area by phone tonight, but they didn't want to go on camera. These are people who, according to the website, are owed thousands of dollars, money they didn't know they had coming. In support of the companies, the American Council of Life Insurers released this statement, reading in part, in a small percentage of cases, life insurance benefits go unclaimed. Life insurers want everyone to receive the benefits to which they are entitled, rather than paying unpaid benefits to state governments. Meantime, Rosenfield says the best advice is for a policyholder to tell their beneficiaries all about the policy now, so they get the money they're due later. If not, he fears this practice will continue. No uh, skin off their teeth to just go ahead and hold on to this money that belongs to us the rest of us, then they'll keep doing it. In Santa Monica, Andrea Fuji, CBS 2 News. It is for